everyone, welcome to our video tutorials. Today we are here to show you how to work with the Amelia employee panel. And uh, just to mention that we already have a um, video about Amelia customer panel. So if you're interested in that topic, uh, make sure to watch that video and we will link, uh, link it uh, below this video as well. And uh, today let's dive into setting up employee panel in Amelia Booking plugin and with that uh, will help us Alexander as always. Thank you. Um, you can always take a look at our um, tutorial on our documentation. Um, first what we need to do is to create a page where the employee panel will be. So to do that just Create a simple page, add a title to it, employee panel, and add the short code, Amelia employee panel. That's it. You can also add the Gutenberg block, Amelia employee panel, which is predefined to show both appointments and events. This does the same thing as the short code above. But you can choose the sliders here to disable events or appointments. So we can leave that one and simply publish the page. When we publish the page, you can copy the link address and go to Amelia Settings, Role Settings, and enable the customer panel and add the URL there. That pretty much configures the whole employee panel thing so we can now view the page and here's the panel which I'm already logged in so if I log out of it with the employee that I have created I can log in with my email address and password there it is. There's the panel. Sorry, Alexander, can you quickly show us how we are setting a password for an employee panel for Yes, of course. Our when employees. you create an employee, when you create the panel, actually, you can type in the password right here. And there's a checkbox below that says send employee panel access email. So when we do that and hit save, an email will be sent to uh, my email address. Let me show you that real quick. And the email should have been sent. Just switch to this one. So if I have everything set up correctly, the <laughs> email is going to arrive. There it is. So, dear employee Amelia, you can access your profile and track your bookings on this link. Your login credentials are email and password. So if I click on the link, it will take me to the employee panel. And this email notification is configured in here. So, sorry, employee, employee panel access. Here it is, dear employee full name, you can access the profile and track your bookings on this link. Now, this hyperlink is actually the uh, placeholder, employee panel URL, which you can copy and add to all your appointments. So if you want to configure the appointment approved email notification and say you can log into your panel here, you can highlight it and click on the hyperlink and just add employee panel URL. And that's it. Oh, great. That's it. Thank you. So employees have their capabilities set up in role settings mm -hmm. at the moment. We haven't enabled anything, so in the employee panel, the employee cannot configure services or anything. He can just view his profile. Mm -hmm. So um, that's in case he, uh, we just want for our employees to keep track on their appointments, but not to manage them. 
Yes, yes. We can enable all of this. So configure their services, their schedule, their days off, special days, manage appointments and events. When we refresh the page, we will be able to do just that. So now the employee can create a new appointment with uh, existing customers. So if you have customers that are that are already booked with this employee, he will be able to select them. He won't be able to select customers from other employees. Okay. Um, so this is basically a new appointment. When you go to the employee's profile, you can see all these tabs above. So assigned services, working hours, days off, special days, everything is in is in here. Okay, great. So that pretty much covers the employee panel. It's not that big great. A deal. <laughs> <laughs> I have just one uh, quick question. Go ahead. Uh, do we need to uh, put employee panel shortcut uh, alone on the page, or we can combine it with some other shortcuts? Well, it's recommended. I mean, you can place the short code uh, to the employee panel along with the booking um, short code, for example. But since front end bookings are handled by customers, there's no need to place the employee short code in there. And uh, there can be some issues with displaying either the panel or the booking um, form when you place bo both short codes on the same okay. page. So to be sure, it's the best to use just one shortcut per page. Yeah, since you already need to uh, provide the URL to the employee panel here, uh, it's best that this is just the employee panel, nothing more. Okay, great. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you guys for watching and let us know in the comments what next you want to hear from us. Bye. Take care.